everybody and welcome to another episode with Supreme Decisions and today I'm actually going to go a little bit deeper into in depth as far as why you often hear me speak about a police officer is not designed to or not trained to solve a crime even in Terry v. Ohio they use the word um, hypothesize which generally we hear about that in creating a science project. Now, when you also hear me speak about um, Malloy B. Briggs, and it talks about how a police officer isn't even trusted enough to determine what probable cause is, which is why they are required to not just take it upon themselves to do something, but to actually follow either your consent or get a warrant, which will give them consent from a judge because the judge is more qualified on law, which most of us know based on our experiences in determining what probable cause is. Now, when I go into it, I'm going to give you a case and it's Jordan v. New London. And it's actually a city in Connecticut where the Supreme Court actually made it okay for police officers to be basically of average or below intelligence to actually perform the job. And generally you see this happening because you hear me talk about words having power and how they're dumbing down our educational system. In fact, they're pretty much making it, as Jaden Smith considered it, a school to prison pipeline. Because if you look at most of our history, what they've done to kind of weaponize education is in the fact is they're taking it away from us. While we are in a society where everything is made available to us via the internet and we're in the information age, nobody really cares about the truth of information. And it goes back to when we're dealing with those with average intelligence, they're designed or put that way because they're easily controlled. Most of us understand that by Facebook. And if they're easily controlled, they generally don't have to do anything. They don't ask any questions, which is why when you have this young man that sued the police department and took this case because his level of justice was to find out exactly how high it could go, was to actually be told that they do not have to hire anyone with above average intelligence. Because if you are an intellectual person, you're going to ask questions. You're not just going to follow orders. That is why they don't hire anyone that is not bound to just follow orders. They don't want anybody that can think for themselves. This is the reason I say that because of this case. I'll put it back up because most of us won't even like the fact that it is there. However, when you're seeing these things that I'm saying being brought to the forefront, being smashed in your face, it then begs the question of why. Why do they not want someone that's intelligent to carry out something that seems to be simple? But we have issues like we do from a day-to-day -day basis where we're encountering police officers that have no clue of what law is. If they're not trained on what law is, we have an issue about them not being trained on law. Why is it they're constantly hiring people that don't learn law, don't know law, nor can be executing law? So maybe the system is working like it's set up to be. But keep that in mind. So whenever I speak about these things, when I talk about that and I show you cases where they say police officers aren't intelligent enough to do certain things. It's because they aren't intelligent enough to do certain things because they're not hiring people that are intelligent enough to do certain things. So you cannot expect anything more than that. Now, when we think of these things, we think of my analogy between someone working at McDonald's that's making $9 an hour, which most of us hold at a higher standard, than we do a police officer that's making six figures. They're both at average intelligence. Both of them are doing probably the same level of work. So just keep that in mind. 
Thank you guys. Keep supporting the podcast. 99 cents, $4.99, or $9.99. Hell, you can do more if you like. Join one of the tiers on the website. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and then we have the master class that will take place monthly. And then lastly, keep buying your t-shirts. More merchandise will be hitting the streets soon. Appreciate you guys that have bought. And we're going to get everything going and keep growing. So Supreme, out.